What is up guys, Zack Scott here, playing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We're starting off here because I'm gonna go ahead and trade in uh, four of my, whatever they're called. <laughs> what are they called? Whatever, ancient lights of blessing, sure. Uh, for a heart container. And we're gonna do that, yes. We're gonna heal, uh, well we're not gonna heal, we're gonna need an extra heart, whatever. Thanks for being here, thanks for over 17,000 likes in the first episode, I do appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna head out and try to free a fairy today and see if that's gonna work, make our way towards Gerudo as well. And uh, yeah, I really do appreciate your support. The first, I think, six episodes each have over 100,000 views. And so that's fantastic. Thank you guys for you know watching this series long term, keeping it going, I do appreciate it. Uh, I cooked a bunch, uh, just made a bunch of meat skewers. I also scanned in some more amiibo and uh, I got this really cool sword here. This is a uh, white sword of the sky. And I'm kind of curious what this is like. Uh, I don't know. It says when wielded a breeze surrounds you or something. I don't know if is it like. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, also when scanning, I got this. Uh, this one's filling out. No, no, this is Cap of Twilight. So I have the Cap of Twilight and I have the Tunic of Hero, Cap of Sky. So nothing's filling out. Never mind. I was wrong. Um, but I would like to, of course. Um, you know, this tin this doesn't change anything. The climbing gear, I would like to upgrade this if I can. Uh, but the more important thing that I would like to do right now is venture out again, head over to, um, I think it would be good if I head here, cause I can get a good view on what all's around. Maybe even try to make my way over to another tower to capture the tower. I say capture, I don't know if capture is the right word. But yeah, capture the tower <laughs> and um, make my way towards Gerudo. We had a lot of fun over here last time you checked in. Let's see if there's a shrine or something nearby that I can get. That's kind of what I'll focus on. Uh, like, oh, there's a tower right there. Look at that right over there. So I wanna go get that tower, honestly. Let's, uh, let's just shoot this over here. I've already explored this stuff. And I think this will basically get us there. I think this is pointed the, roughly the right way. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is gonna be good, here we go. And then I have a bunch of stamina. The more important thing is that I think I can just get over here. I got this stamina by having a horse dream. Uh, but also, I'm, I'm realizing now as we're going, this may not be enough stamina, so let's go again. East Gerudo Sky Archipelago. I think that's how you say it. And of course, I see those... those those things around here, those uh, shapes that I need to investigate for dragon tears or whatever. Oh, is it cold? Am I cold? Am I, I'm cold. Let's switch gear. Let's wear these. I think we're gonna dip into our extra stamina that we have here, which is fine. Uh, hopefully we don't run out. Okay, I'm gonna go one more time and then... I should have taken a vehicle. I don't know what I was thinking by not taking a vehicle. All right, we're so close to being here. I'm gonna have to just glide at the last second, I think. Yeah, okay, well, we're here. This is, can I collect these? No, not really. Uh, so let's go ahead and capture this. I, I'm pretty sure we're kind of far outside of what we meant to do. Like, I mean, this isn't the exact, I mean, there was a, probably a trail here or something, you know what I mean? There's probably something here. Uh, we, we probably would have ran into a sign guy or whatever, you know, I don't know. Uh, this looks interesting. 
Oh, hey, what's, what's up with you? Who are you? Uh-oh, says Sawson. Oh. Hello there, so you came to see the Skyview Tower too? It's a bit late to be working, isn't it? Hate to break it to you, but the Skyview Tower is out of order. Ah. I'm here to fix it, but unfortunately the elevator is broken too. I can't get up to the tower to make the repairs. Dang. Oh. Do you see that metal bit up there? There used to be a platform attached to that. If you added enough weight, it'd go down and I'd go up. Ah. But the platform is gone. There's nothing attached to that metal bit, so I'm stuck down here. Uh, I obviously can't fix the Skyview Tower. Wish I knew of some way to get to the top. So do I gotta help this guy, or do I need to do it myself? You know what I mean? Like, do I need to fix the Skyview Tower myself? I don't know. The one thing, though, is I could probably... Whoa, what the, was that? What the heck was that noise? Wow. Yes. That's gonna be one way up. <laughs> That's gonna probably be the easier way up, in fact. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And then let's see what I can find. So this is the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. Kinda close there, huh? So is it actually broken, or can I go in, or is it like actually broken? Yeah, it's broken. All right, understood. I need to attach something over here. Um, give me those arrows. I'm not. I'm not quite sure what to make though. But enough weight would do the trick, right? So let's see about, just, nope, come on. Come on, let's see about bringing this over. And kind of attaching that maybe. That's not enough weight. How about two of them? Still not enough, what about three of them? These things seem like they would be pretty darn heavy. Three seems to be enough. There he is. <laughs> I think that startled him. Oh! Are you the one who got the elevator working? You're amazing. I'll get to work fixing the Skyview Tower right away. All right, great. This is wonderful for us. Uh oh, the drive assembly mechanism is stuck, probably from all the hot, hot hours of the day here. But if I swap out those parts for heat resistant ones, yes, it worked. Ah! Thanks to you, I could fix the Skyview Tower. Please take this for your trouble. Thank you, dude. Heat resistance. Ah! If you're heading down to the desert, make sure to protect yourself from the heat. It can get dangerous out oh. there. Sometimes there's just no avoiding the heat. When that happens, a meal that'll cool you down should come in handy. All right, thank you, sir. Let's activate this. I need to know where like the stable is, so I can find like the the flautist, the flutist. I still don't know how that's how that's said. Let's call them flute players. That's easier, right? Here we go. And then we're gonna launch up. Get ready. Awesome. We are flying pretty high. I don't see a lot of them. I see obviously that that dragon tear thing. Uh, that. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look. Yes. So we got to find the stable. There's a Gerudo Desert. Obviously, we missed a whole lot of trails over there on our way over here. Surface map updated. Also, probably the sky map is updated a little bit. Now, oh wow, look at that, look at that thing in the sky. So, 
So, okay. Here we go. Let's fly. Uh, let's get over here then. This is the only really sky, like sky thing that I see over here. There's an entrance to the depths. This is just gonna be an area for fairies, right? Oh, there's some rockets here. The rockets are interesting. That'll take me really high. Is that where I even wanna go? I need to get, well actually over, I don't think I've been over. I, I don't know if I've been over there. Are those, hold on, what, what am I looking at? I think those are different than this one over here. It's a similar contraption, I think. We could take that. Um, I don't see any fairies, by the way. Uh, there's also that over there and a shrine over there too. Interesting. Well, let's take a let's take a rocket with us. And let's put one uh, back here, I guess. And let's put and I I'm, I'm gonna want to try to turn around and go that way. If I can, this might be. Huh. Looks about even, right? Let's hit it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's, uh, can we veer off this way, please? All right, this is fine. Maybe. I mean, we're kind of gliding. Uh, not exactly fine. Yeah, we're falling pretty easy, pretty, pretty steadily but there is a, a way to fall down here let's see I guess we haven't been down here yet and then what am I looking at over here there's rockets right here a bunch of rockets in fact so I think the key to this if we want to get up there is just to go straight up and uh, if that is gonna be the case Let's take a look at all the rockets that we have available to us, because this, that's a, thank, thank you. Because <laughs> of all these rockets, man, we could, we could, I mean, I don't know, are we just gonna launch ourselves up like crazy? Let's do it, here we go. Here, I'm gonna, here. So this is gonna have, here, we'll put one here. I'm gonna go all out on these rockets. The balance, I hope, hopefully the balance is fine. Ugh, can't see anything. Ugh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to dial down the, on the rockets just a little bit. And bring that back. I can't see. Okay, there we go. And then oh there's one extra here. This is gonna go in the front. All right, here we go. Get ready for this. This is gonna be exciting. I'm putting this one, I'm, I'm just trying to balance it, you know what I mean? So, drop that off to the side. All right, now this is gonna be nuts.
We have liftoff. Look at that. We're still going, too. We're going to be able to glide over here, which is awesome. And there's a shrine over here. And yeah, over there's where I've been. I've been over that way. Hey, birds. Uh, Rakashag Shrine, baby. Mm. All right. I kind of hope this is a blessing one. It'd be great. Hylian pine cones. It's not, it's a reflective device. What do we gotta do, shine some light on something? Watch this burn me. Ah, it's too hot. Okay, I think I already know what to do. Give me that. So this is for light puzzles, obviously. What, now, will that stay? I think that will stay. They'll probably give me more, right? All right. Looky at this. Yeah. Where's this one going? Okay, over there. Is it in or out? There you go. It's a light puzzle. Not sure where the uh, hell. Could I? Could I have just here? Let me see. R what really? Okay, that's fine. Oh. Okay. Uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Excellent. I should have been on there. <laughs> I should have been. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, here it goes again. Okay, great. But now I need... Oh, geez, hold on. Let me grab a sword or something. Excellent. Oh, how? All right, uh, so that's the end of it there, but there's obviously something else over here that we need to do in order to uh, open this up. Hmm. What's the catch? Okay, hold on. I have an idea. This will... This will shoot it up. And then the other one will... Uh... I'll figure it out. The good news is that you only need to do it for like a little bit of time and then it like all opens up, so. All right, I can't, I can't see it though. So let me get, <laughs> let me get over here. Okay, let me. 
Alright, so the, the main problem here is I can't see what I'm doing. There, you, there it is. I just didn't see it, but now that I see it, there it goes. And we got a treasure out of the deal. Very nice. Now we're gonna run this way. To me, this is probably a really simple, probably a really simple uh, strategy. Oh, well. It's probably fine. Easy. Now that was the last treasure that we had to get, right? Yes. All right, Rakashrog Shrine is mine. Okay, so. We are now, I mean, I'm gonna make my way towards Gerudo eventually, but I gotta find the, um, what's it called? I gotta find the stable. So let's see what we got. Maybe if I get a, a good view over here. Uh, that's the wrong way. Because I want to do the gumball machine, the gotcha machine. Oh, there's also the construct. Is there, there's a con, no. There's not a construct, it's a launching machine, Never mind. But this will, I mean, there, is that, is that one I've done already? Hold on, let me look at the map. I don't think I've been here, so I'm gonna have it launch me that way. Wait, where's the gumball machine? Okay, wait, there it is. All right. Sundelion. All right, let's, uh, all these materials, let's hold. We're gonna hold, uh, Put him in. Let's see what he gives us. Oh yeah. So we got some light reflectors. I'm not sure what the light reflectors do. Mirror. Oh, it can ward off some monsters. So sled, okay, okay. Steak. Okay, we got steaks too, because yeah, steaks are interesting. Uh, let's do Let's do another set of those. Steaks could be very interesting. <laughs> we also got more steering sticks. A beam emitter, nice. Okay. And then if we want to get over there, we're probably just gonna have to launch over there. It's also, it looks like it's pointing towards that cube in the sky. I don't know if I'm, I'm like, when I see that, I'm thinking that's cool, but I'm also thinking that's kind of scary. Like, what is the cube thing, you think? All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on, brave Link, let's go. All right, let's find out what this is all about. Some mushrooms there. What's the secret to this place? Whoop, I'm just gonna burn it down. My bad. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. All right, well, let's pick up baked apples or whatever the heck. Hey, birds. There's lots of little things here. 
But I'm wondering if is there like a uh, treasure here? Like, I don't know. There's got to be something to this place, right? Oh, here, search this. Zonai charge, of course. Uh, I really don't know what I'm. What's here, honestly? Shock fruit. Zonai charge. Is there... Is there anything that I'm missing? Uh, is there... There's got to be something here. More than what's... Oh, there's stairs. Here we go. Zonai charge. Yeah, let's go down here. I'm really con con concerned. No. Okay. Well, we're fine. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Something's over here. There's a stake here. That's interesting. There's a treasure. There's a stake and a treasure. And... A puzzle. It's a puzzle how to get this treasure, I think. I think. How far into the ground can that go? Huh. Oh. That's light. This is really interesting because I, I just... That's light for sure. And uh, let's see what I need to do to get that light going on. Because that's... Uh, I imagine I'll probably need to just... I mean, I bought a bunch of mirrors. I probably could just use those unless one is somehow presented to me. But I don't think that's going to be the case. Oh, dear. Okay. Let's go up. Uh, let's see if anything's up here. I, I might find a mirror. I don't know. Something going on. Oh, shoot. What, is this an enemy? Hold on, hold on. Relax, Link, relax. What is that? Is that a security device of some sort? There's another chest here. What the heck? An old map. Awesome, I keep getting old maps to like locations in the depths. I don't know what they're pointing me out to. Hmm. No idea. It's such a cool area, man. Oh, wow. Okay, there's our answer right there. What is this? Pick up. What is that? This is so cool. Oh, shoot. There's an enemy. Okay, well. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Alright, 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 alright. I'm stuck. I'm climbing. Oh no. There you go. My team is beating him up. There you go. So he had a mad he has a magic shield here. What the heck is a shield? A mirror shield. Uh, I can't carry any more shields, but I can drop a shield. Let's drop uh I guess I'll just drop this Zonai Zonite shield, I guess. Pick up the mirror shield. That's awesome. That might be all I need, honestly. But if not, I can just use a mirror itself. Oh, dude, what if it's not... 
Hold on. Is it gonna be bright enough? What the heck is this? Oh wow, okay. Hold on, I can't see what's down there. I don't know what the heck was made. I felt like that was like a sentry. Yeah, let's let's drop that down. I don't know if that shines light or what, but Oh, it's shining light right here. Oh, look, I'm shining light. How do I turn? Wait, I had it. All right. Better, better yet, let's just do this. That's close, right? Got it. Another treasure. So this island had two treasures on it, at least. Yes, so I had, this is my fourth sage and will. Okay, so you can deepen your connection with the sages if you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue. Okay, so what does this actually do? This is gonna be exciting. Uh, first things first though. Uh, are there, I mean, we know there's the tower there. Where's like the stable? You know what I mean? Like where was the stable? I almost wonder if it was, um, you know, along this path somewhere. Like, cause I mean, like I was supposed to take a path from here to wherever. And I just don't know where the stable was. I kind of want to just glide and see what I can find. Like, is the smoke a stable? Is that a stable right there? I can't tell if that's a stable or not. Uh, that is not a stable. Okay. What's that yellow thing? No. Uh, any other stables in the area? It's so it's not it's so not clear at all. Uh, that is not a stable whatsoever, my dudes. Uh, I mean I just don't know where the stable is. Oh, there's a the guy with the sign though. Let's go deal with his sign. Oh, this looks a little complicated, huh? Uh, okay. I kind of get it, I think. It's going to maybe fall. How does it fall? Let's take a look. Let's see how it falls. Let go. Let go. I want to see. Okay, just straight up falls that way. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> okay. So, President Hudson. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's try the classic. Let's try the classic here. If this classic doesn't work, then obviously we'll know that there's something else going on here. Because last time it fell. Ooh, that may not be good enough. Here, let me, uh. Let me try one more thing. Might be a bit much. 
All right, let's see what happens. Try that and go. Okay, it also goes that way. My bad, my bad. <laughs> okay, so... I should have known better, but whatever. Uh. Okay, so this will be our start. Stuff is just falling. That looks good right there. And then the other part about this is that I need um, some way to hold it up from falling uh, the other way. And to me, I think that looks like... I'll see if there's a stable over there. I, dude, stable... I'm, I'm just, my memory is not very great, apparently. I'm trying to see if stables... All right, try that. Try letting go. Perfect, dang it. It also goes the other way. Okay, my bad. My bad, I just gotta fully encase it, it's okay. This is a perfect piece of machinery here. Or whatever you wanna call it, you know. And then one more, uno mas. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna see what the sages will for sure. I think we need one more. Just to make sure it doesn't falter. No, no, no. What was that? Fine. Let's see let's see what happens. Try letting go with this one. It's perfect. <laughs> so there we go. And he's going to give me some more food that's going to help with temperature or something, probably. All right, so he's going to give me red rupee. A cold weather attack food. And a muddle bud. Okay. That's interesting. So we got him. I do kind of want to see what's over here. I don't... I, is, that, is that a stable? That may not be a stable at all. Basically, my goal, I'm gonna go down here-ish. I just don't know where. There's someone wandering around. What's up, dude? Do I have enough elixirs? Yeah. Brr, it's cold. You're going to freeze out here if not, you're not prepared. Uh. The swing in temperature from day to night sure makes traveling tricky. Preparation is key. I always keep elixirs on hand that can heat me up or cool me down. Without them, I'd be done for. Well, aren't you a genius? Uh, let's see. I don't think there's a stable down there. There's a couple trails. Why is it green? I will go look at this. But I don't know what I'm going to look at until I get there. Why is it green? Uh. Oh. What am I? What am I looking for here? I want somebody? Aww. You found me. I was sure nobody come looking for me all the way out here. Got split up from my friends. Tried looking for him, but the dehydration set in and I couldn't move. I should sure go for a scosh of splash fruit. Here you go. Here's a scosh for you. Oh, I can kiss you right now. Thanks. We're not making out. <laughs> not with that dry mouth of yours. Ah! Now that's refreshing. Never in my life have I been so grateful for splash fruit. I think that now, yep, yep, my limbs work again. I better go and meet up with my friends, huh? Thanks for the save, pal. All right. Thank you, I suppose. So, 
My problem is, where's the uh, shrine that this activates? This surely activates a shrine. I don't know where. It's probably close. I have a car here, apparently. Basically, it's made. Uh, let's take this one. Can we, are we seriously cannot dislodge that? Okay, well we have an idea. Let's make long car. There we go, and you know, I really don't know where this this thing is gonna be, but I guess I would try to bring it with me until I found something like that. Because it seems to be a, a shrine related, obviously. So let's find out where in the world this is gonna go. There we go, I made a great vehicle. So long as the battery lasts. There's an enemy over there. There's a cave here. I'm afraid to take my car in. Oh. Water attack. Fire attack, watch out. You got fire and water, what's that all about? All right, let's take a look at this cave. Oh, that one's a, a good shield, huh? Opal. I hope my car stays there while I'm in here looking around. Looking for a shrine, wherever it is. I don't know where it is, dude. Oh, good. He's just right here. What? That was one hit. Got him. This one's an easy one, then. I took, like, three hits to get this guy. What the heck? Booble Jim. All right. A little bit of, uh, you know. Whoa, I really lit that up. Holy cow. All right, let's uh, get out of here then. This is, uh, this is like, like my ideal cave. It's like super short. <laughs> it's exactly. It just, I mean, like, it's straightforward. My cart better be here. My cart's here still. Where'd this thing come from? And then let's put the sword, let's put that back on and my sword back in here. White sword of the sky. All right. See, the thing is, I don't know if I should go forward or backwards with this car part of me thinks that uh, where's your friend dude where's your friend talk to me all right you scared me you're moving me you must be able to see me. Be gentle, okay? I'm in a real pickle traveling with the... Yeah, so where'd he go? He's over there. Okay, that's not bad. We can get you there. That's just right around the corner. We got this car for you, too. <laughs> just stack you on there. Oh, what's in the way? 
the heck? Oh, come on. Hold on. I... It's not, this thing isn't even there. Uh, okay. Let's get over there. I mean, really, it's not far at all. It really isn't. <laughs> We're just gonna pick it up and move it. All right. There's a couple of stakes there. To me, that says... That says yes. We're going to put you on the stake and lift you up there. Uh, is that as high as you can go? Fine. Okay. Can I grab him from here? I may not be able to now they see it. Nope, nope. Okay, let's put you over here. I love that the stake can just go through whatever. That's such a funny way to do things. Temperature is very high. Oh, geez. Uh, what do I need to do? Hold on. Can I take off these clothes? Oh, shoot. I don't think I have something that cools me down. Here, let me just cash you in. Here, just here. Thank you. Croc seed. Thank you. Let me get out of here. Can I just take off these pants, maybe? Or these. Hold on. Let's take a look at my. Uh. Four. Just put on like some regular old pants. No. Oh, that doesn't do anything about the heat. I don't think I have. What is this? Speed up elixir. Dang, dude. Okay, let me go down here. Okay, I'm safe down here. It's going up is the problem. I also seriously doubt that the shrine's gonna be over here, but we'll see. It does look hot over here, right? Attack! It splashes in that water. I, I need to cool off. Here goes. Oh, don't attack him. Ow. <laughs> Is he gonna fight him? <laughs> He's gonna fight him. Thank you. What's up, my dude? That was close. That was really scary. I thought I was done for. Thank you so much. I'm okay because of you. Here, take this as a reward. Enduring veggie cream soup. Thank you. I feel like I'm going the wrong way with this, whatever this is gonna be. Cook into an elixir, yeah, 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 yeah. But I did save the, the day. I, I'll, I'll push on for a little bit further. Excuse me, what did I just run into? Don't fight me. This is kind of like an all-terrain vehicle. I feel like I'm about to get up higher in altitude so much that it would be painful. I feel like I remember this part from Breath of the Wild. 
But maybe I'm thinking of something else. Also, wherever this shrine is, it hasn't appeared yet. I, I almost don't think it would make me go so far to find this shrine, but maybe it would. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, crap. These guys are strong. Oh, no, 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 no. Oof. Here. Cool off, buddy. Got him. Where is he? Where is he? Thank you. Thank you. You're finally attacking my enemies here. All right. My, my car better be here. I just have a feeling that this shrine is not up here. <laughs> That's just my feeling. It's just like... I maybe had to go the other way, you know what I mean? And then to, to know, but well, you know, whatever. Part of the thing is, is taking this trail, finding sign guy. It's part of the adventure. Yeah, I'm gonna try to skip these guys if I can. I don't know what I just ran into. Is it gonna be really hot? Yep, oh God. Okay, we're leaving. I don't have the stuff to cool me down. All right, so it's not this way. The heat's unbearable. I don't really have anything to deal with that right now. Heat's unbearable, get in the shadows, in the shade. Wait, what, what is your deal? Are you selling anything? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, I'm not scary, I'm not scary. All right, I've been studying the language a bit. Mm. Do you know about tumbleweeds? They're weeds rolling around the Gerudo Canyon. It's fun to watch them, but did you know you can break them open too? Oh, I didn't know. I did not know that. <laughs> but thank you. Good to know that I can break those open. This car is not very fast, by the way. They might be a little faster going downhill, of course. All right. Yeah, the sun sucks right here, dude. Am I, am I gonna take damage from this type of sun, or? Yeah, there's a little bit of damage for me. Oh boy. Maybe the shrine is the other way. That's the only thing I could think of. Is like maybe. See when I since I just jumped in there, my first thought, my first thought honestly was, oh, since I jumped down, they, I found the shrine, and then now it's gonna be like one of those situations where, uh, oh hold on, do you think I can jump up there? Oh maybe not. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be one of those situations where there's nothing in here. Oh great. Uh here, let's uh let's drop down something powerful for it then. Let's sort by uh sort by So wait, wait, wait. This doesn't repair my sword at all, does it? It just Dang. Sort by fuse power. I don't think this helps. I'm you know what? I'm going to drop this. I'm this this will be my 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 test. It's badly damaged. No, don't. Is it still going to be damaged once I do this? I think it will be. But maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong about it. Flint. Nice. All right, let's figure out what this stupid shrine is going to be. I just don't know. It honestly might be a situation where we're not ready for this part yet. 
Like, if the shrine's gonna be that well hidden, hidden, you know? Like, maybe it's hidden to the point where I need, like, the locator on the pure pad or whatever. Just a guess. That may not be the case at all, by the way. But the last time I had a, a shrine like this, it told me. It was like... Oh, wait. Is that it up there? No, this is where we came from, right? Or wait. Another guy needing to reach his friend. Oh, man. I don't know where the shrine is. There's some water here. There's some water. What is going on? Where's your friend? My friend and I got separated. Okay. That's not a big deal. Uh, do you think my... Hold on. Do you think... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm, I'm wondering if... Uh, if my dude will, uh, I'm wondering if, uh, if this cart can drive through the water, because that'll be awesome. Oh, hold on, I need to actually probably attach you. If this cart can just drive through water, that's like perfect. Let's see if it's true. Heck yes, look at this. This is amazing. Yeah. Here he is. Daddy. Two more croc seeds. Yeah. See ya. All right, so. Obviously, I can go. Let me go up here just a little bit, then I'll turn around. Oh. Oh, oh. I don't know. Oh, there's a... There's a dirty... There's a dirt path over here. Oh, I think that's the shrine. Holy cow. Such a cool vehicle, man. I can't believe it. I actually found the shrine. Rakaku Dad Shrine. Still don't know where the stable is. <laughs> All right, so check this out. Check this out. I have it. I have it right with me. I brought it, not even knowing where you were. Awesome. Let's actually watch the animation this time because I uh, skipped it last time. I want to see this in action. That's cool. I can't believe I skipped that last time. Do you think this is going to be like one of Raru's blessings or something? I don't know, but I got a fast travel here, so that's good. Let's see about this. Where is this going to take us? Still, I mean, I can't. I cannot believe I haven't found. Uh, it is a Raru's blessing. The next time I I turn in one of these, I'm going to. Hold on. What, what, what do we got here? Oh, that's a wow. Okay. Let's take. Uh, let's drop. Let's get rid of the scepter, dude. Zonai device. Let's get rid of the scepter. Or let's get rid of, uh, 
Let's get rid of this magic rod. There we go. Oh, wait, so that... No, okay, yeah, cool. Awesome. I wish I knew where the stable was. If I do another, uh, if I get another shrine, I could get stamina upgrade. And then I could also, what else do I want to do? Oh, it looks like that way would be, okay. I kind of see what's up. If I go that way, if I go, hold on, map wise, if I go this way, I bet the stable's over here. I bet it is. I kind of want to venture off this way just to see what it looks like. I don't think the stable would that be that close to the old stable. Oh, my car's gone. All right, that's fine. Dang, I hate that. I hate that those things despawn. I really do. Can't run underwater. Your stamina gets drained. All right. I just kind of want to take a peek over here. I know that, um, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure what I'm going to find. Let's, it's going to be a, a trail back to where we were. It's going to take a while to get there, but I just want to take a peek just to see if there's anything interesting. It's beautiful. Oh, this is a actual cave. Oh, I didn't realize we we're in a cave. I, I okay. Now I'm wrong. I I didn't know this is a cave. Okay. Really wish I brought. Uh, oh, there's a treasure over there. Let's uh, recharge right here just in case I don't make it. Uh, what do you think's over there? Send me up. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let's get the cobble crusher. Oh, diamond. Finding diamonds now. That's amazing. Uh, let's see what's up here. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Awesome. Another booble gem. We haven't found... Uh, we haven't really found that guy. Uh, it's not Kilton. It's like Col Colton. I haven't seen him lately. There's an octa rock. Um, let's see. No. I just use these basic bows. Cool. I'll be there in a second to collect that. All right. Cool. Oh, hold on. Wait, is it? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I can make it back, honestly. I was, I was wanting to go over there because there's a pathway. I don't know if I can make it, honestly. If I if I drown in the water though, hold on. I want to see if I can jump backwards here. Wow. Wow. Okay. Great. What is this? Uh, 
Oh, wait, what is this? Is this for... What is this? Is this one of those offering things? But what do I offer? I think if I offer like a fruit or something, right? This is so weird, dude. Here, let me uh, let me offer a fruit. Uh, let's see. Here, let's just mighty bananas. Hold one. Okay, I literally don't know what this is. Maybe this is the wrong type of fruit. Uh, I I don't know what to offer here, guys. Oh, I don't know what this is. Does anyone know what this is? Uh, it gave me a bomb. Let me let's try the bomb. <laughs> is it gonna be your red moon? I don't know what the, I don't know what the heck that is. Oh wow! Look over there. Unbearably cold. All right, all right. Skip. We know. We know. Um. Well, get me over here. This is awesome. Uh, let's... there's a person over here. There is a camp. Oh, this is cool. Dig dog suspension bridge. Um, that's a, there we go. Hold the, hold these. Let's see what kind of uh, stuff it gives us. Oh, we got a bunch of steaks. And a spring. So we haven't used springs yet, which is interesting. We got some big wheels too. Throw those in as well. I, don't, I really don't know what the springs are gonna be used for. Let's see what this guy's all about. What's your story, dude? Oh. Apologies, but I was just on my way back to the tent. Can we pick this up later? Sure. Which tent were you going to? What is this place? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Remembering things hurts. This is why I hate tests. All right, these guys are asleep. These guys might not be up for a chat right now. Was there a sign guy over here though? Like, the place to cook? What's up there? <laughs> Give me all this. So clearly, like, this is the kind of stuff, you know, that, oh, there, is that another, hold on, I don't know what's going on, hold on. Oh, there's a little horse thing, mini stable, this isn't the stable that we were talking about, though. 
Yeah. Hey, buddy, if you're going to Gerudo Canyon over the suspension bridge, you better be careful. I used to have a stable in the canyon, but ever since the upheaval sent the weather all screwy, horses hate the place. No horse... No horses meant no travelers meant no business for my stable. I was ruined. I had no choice but to relocate and open a mini stable over here. But boy, do I miss the old spot. Still got both your ears, or did I talk one of them off? Anyway, let me know your name so I can confirm you're a stable member. I am, of course. Ah. Your name is Link, you say. You're on... Oh, one point to commemorate. My first visit. Nice. Nice. Okay. Oh. What brings you here? I'm just... Oh. Goodbye. Ah. Uh, if you're gonna stop at the Gerudo Canyon stable, remember to be careful. The people is that where I'm supposed to even go? The Gerudo I don't even remember. Uh what is that up there? That looks like a shrine. That is a shrine. That's this this shrine right here. So what I wanna do and uh, I just wanna go back here, honestly, and take a look. Actually let me go back to uh let me go back here. Look out landing, because I have... Well, wait, we can... You know what we could do? We could do... Was this a shrine that I didn't do yet? Let me go here. Because if there's a shrine to do, then I get extra stamina. I can, I can turn in my sage points or whatever. Find out what that means for me. Because I really don't know um, what upgrading, you know, one of my connections... and. If it makes someone more powerful, who do I want to be more powerful? Oh, shoot. There is a shrine over there, by the way. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Ow. Oh, there's a sign guy. Let me guess, I gotta chop down some trees for this one. My etching. You have my support. Which way does it fall? I'm just going to assume it falls the good old fashioned way. Can I? I don't think I have like an axe or anything, do I? Let me just do a. Uh... Let me just do one of these swords, I guess. Uh, that's not the right thing. There you go. Hold up. There's a chest over here or something. Can I, can I grab that? Uh, oh, there's a stake. Okay. <laughs> wonder if I could stake something. Maybe I'll reuse this one. Dude, I'm right here. I'm ready to open it. What? Okay. <laughs> nice. All right, let's see about this though. Let's bring this back over here. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, and then, uh, excuse me, I really don't know what's going on here. Let it go. Let's see what I just want to see what happens at this point. 
I can't even talk to him. There we go. Talk. Let's just see if this. Let's just see if this works. This may not work at all. Oh my gosh, it works. Excellent. <laughs> so once I do this shrine, though, uh, I'll have enough for a stamina upgrade, which is what, what I'm going to spend it on. I kind of want hearts too, but stamina is going to be good as well. Uh, so I got 20 red rupees. <laughs> Meaty ah. rice balls. And a little something extra. Puff shroom. Oh. Alright. Awesome. With that, he's off. Get out of here, then. Alright, let's go see what this shrine's all about. Could it be? Another one. Braru's blessing, please. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know if uh, you know most charge might be really cool to to upgrade if I get that choice. A fixed device. So that's a stake in there, huh? That's interesting. That stake will probably be able to come out, right? There's probably a treasure in there. Coming with me. I don't know what you're gonna be used for, but you're coming with me. Uh, what is this? Oh, oh, dude, is this like pinball? Hold on, let's see. I can't even tell. What's this? Yeah, this is gonna be kind of like pinball. I think. I don't know about this, but. Put these little cigarette looking things here. And I think I just want to put it. That seems to be the way to do it. But I also, I also want to see something really quick. <laughs> what? I mean, I mean, it's gonna be so funny if this, if it's that simple. It looks close. I have an idea. I have an idea, and let me know if this is gonna work or not. What is the story about this? I don't know. Oh, there's gonna be something over there probably to hit. Okay, uh... Oh, God, okay. Come here, buddy. I have to know if this will work. I mean, that's close, right? Let's just do it the way they want us to. I don't think that's going to work at all. <laughs> so let's just see. <laughs> let's just do what they want. Here we go. All right, here you go. Uh, this is going to be... Yeah, that's basically it. Here we go. I think it needs to be longer. We're basically playing pinball here. Here we go. This is gonna be easier, I think. Okay, close. Close. Okay. A little bit not as close. Nailed it. 
Now the other one, that that's the way out, but there's this thing over here, which uh, I think is gonna be a little tougher. I gotta somehow stake this. I thought that this would be here. Oh, crap. All right. I think I'm supposed to do this like this, I think. Let me think about this. All right, I think we're almost there. Uh. Uh, let's let's see. Okay, what's what's the catch here? What, 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 what? Like, okay. All right, I have a, a slightly different idea. All right. Maybe. Maybe that'll work. It's a little, I mean, it's a little clear, right? I mean, it looks good. This one will be a little late. You hit this one late, and then it'll push it that way, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. Even later. Even later. A little earlier. <laughs> Slightly later. Nailed it. Nailed it. That's my treasure. That's my treasure. All right. So, this shrine is done. Energizing elixir. And uh, that's that. That's that. Right? Yeah, we got the we got that shrine done. Now we can go in. We can get. Um, I don't know. I'm. It's probably gonna be either. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what the choices are. I don't know what the visitor to the shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. I actually would probably rather have Tulin be upgraded, honestly. Because if he's able to give me, you know, I just don't know what the upgrade is. You know what I mean? I just don't know what the upgrade is. So it's going to be a little weird. I was really hoping to have the, uh, the other great fairy <laughs> by this episode. But it looks like we still won't. All right, let's travel to... Let's go back to Lookout Landing. I guess if it gets me closer to one of the sages, I'll probably pick Tulin because he's my first sage. And if I don't like the re results or whatever it is, then I mean, it, it, you know, is it gonna make him faster? Like, is it gonna make him blow me further? I don't really know what the overall goal of, of you know.
Let's go check it out, though. So beautiful. So first up, we're going to pray for... Um, uh, let's do... Let's do Tulin, I guess, right? I will make your bond with a sage stronger. Tulin. I think it's going to be Tulin. Let's do Tulin. See what happens. How's this work? My ring gets brighter. All right. Solemn vow of Tulin, sage of wind. The strengthened vow of Tulin, sage of wind. Your reinforced bond with Tulin has increased his avatar's attack power. Oh, so he's the one who shoots with arrows. Okay, so his avatar's attack is up. Which is interesting. Let me give me some stamina too, please. That's pretty cool. If his avatar would attack more often, that would be even better. <laughs> Let's do the stamina vessel. I think we're ready for a stamina vessel. And then next up, we'll do hearts. We'll like do hearts again, I think. I think we're happy with this. Whoa. All right, cool. I don't like all the red stuff going on. But there you go, the stamina vessel, good. Go and bring peace to the world. That's what I that's what I do. That's what I always do. I gotta know. Let me just go over here and see if I can find the the stable. I gotta know for close. I really don't know. You know what we're gonna be doing here. If we don't have the state, you know, I don't know if it's north. It's probably, okay, good. It's bright. Okay, great. The good news is it's bright. Let me take a look over here. Oh, I can't see anything. Let's go up here. <laughs> Hit me up. Wow, it's blue. It's obviously that weird sky. There's something, there's like a maze. All right, where, okay, hold on. East Gerudo. If I wanna look. Which way am I facing? Yeah, I'm facing the right way. Obviously I see the dragon tier thing. There's a tower, there's. Is that it? Right there? Is it at the oasis? I can't tell, man. That might be it. Let's get a good, a better view. Well, there's a shrine there. Is that the, is that the stable? It doesn't really look like a stable. Dude, where did they say the stable was? This is the bazaar. Is that a stable? This is the bazaar. I'm gonna activate this. I'm not gonna do this right now. Jeez. I well, hold on. This is not the stable, by the way. Where do they want me to go for the stable? I feel like I need to go back and like watch last episode or something and then see where they said the stable was gonna be. Because the bazaar is fine and all, but I really wanna get that fairy done. So let me let me hear what they have to say. Uh, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back. It's actually the Highland Stable. <laughs> and that's like, I haven't even found that place yet. So I don't know what I was thinking. But here we are at the bazaar, let's check it out. How bizarre, huh? How, uh, let's see what's going on with this place. Is this like just a big marketplace? Uh, what should I use? What should you use? 
Sava, I mean Savak. That was close. If the others heard me, they'd definitely chew me out for using slang on duty. Mm. My mentor has entrusted me with decorating a weapon in a stylish way. She told me to make it sparkle and that it must radiate burning passion, but I don't know what she's talking about. She's got an allergy to monsters too, so that means monster parts are off limits. Oh. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference from where to start, that would help a lot. Decorate with passion, make it sparkle. Can I, ha can I have these? <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Okay, so a weapon that has uh, a sand shroud wrecking havoc. Okay. Weapon that has sparkle. But you can't use monster parts. This zone of spear is sparkling. You know, it, it reminds me of like a ruby or something. Like, that would make, make it sparkle, right? So what if I took this... Uh, what if I... took this broadsword what if I took um, uh, I, I'm just gonna use like an amber if it's I don't know if that sparkles enough what about no monster parts obviously with passion hold on now wait hold on say it again radiate burning passion sparkle radiate burning passion Good luck. No. Sparkle, burning passion. So. It's a ruby. It's got to be a ruby, right? And then we just drop it. And then I take this sword and I infuse it. So there you go. Mm. How about this? That's cool, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. <gasps> hmm. Hold on. Give me a moment to study this weapon. Ooh. Ah, so you attach a ruby like this? Huh. That sparkle in the weapon positively radiates with burning passion. Even I can make something like this, and it will certainly please my mentor. Sark, for showing me such an inspiring decoration. Please take this. I got. An electric key swing. Thanks. Oh. It's a material I would recommend for decorating weapons. A lot of monsters call the desert home, so normally I wouldn't recommend going out there. However, if you want to test the strength of a weapon, you've added something too. Now is the perfect time. All right. Decorate the passion complete. What's up with you? Savak. Savak. Mm hmm. You're an unfamiliar face. Are you a member of the caravan squad heading to Gerudo Town? Oh. Gerudo Town is to the southwest of here. It's the biggest town in the region. That said, the laws of the Gerudo, Gerudo forbid Vo men from entering the town. Mm. Though Vo were not, under this terrible sand shroud, it would take a near miracle to reach the town in the first place. Oh. I recommend you follow the example of the Vo of the caravan squad and give up for even trying now. Oh. They're a group of Hylian merchants. It's not as though they can do business in the sand shroud, so they're helping out by guarding the entrance here. <laughs> it's clear their plan is to gain access to Gerudo Town by getting into our good graces. But our law about Vo is absolute. We couldn't let them in if we wanted to. Oh. Well, in any case, the sand shroud is particularly harsh for you Hylians, so you should stay here. So, yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to get into the area. Now, what are they up to? Savak. Savak. Mm -hmm. hmm, another Hylian, huh? I commend you and those merchants for making it here under these abnormal conditions, <sighs> but the area south of Karakara Bazaar is covered by the sand shroud right now, so visibility is extremely low. Then there are eyewitness reports of strange monsters. I wouldn't think any less of you if you call off your trip here. Ah. Besides, this oasis is under the protection of us Gerudo soldiers, so you know it's a safe place to rest and relax. I, I am curious if I'm going to be able to get into this area. Did I... Blue Lysel Ripper. Okay, cool. That's a, that's a big sword. What is this? <laughs> it won't give an inch. I think this is stone, but no matter what I do, I can't put a dent in it. I have a bad feeling about this thing. I don't know why, but I do. I don't know what it is, dude. I don't know what this is. 
kind of purpley over here. What the heck? I don't know what this is either, my friend. Let's go. Uh, I guess we'll just check out the rest of this bazaar. Then we'll be done with today's episode. I'll do the shrine tomorrow or the next episode. Always be vigilant. Oh. The road from Karakara Bazaar to Gerudo Town is closed because of the sand shroud. You're welcome to help the caravan squad guard this place in the meantime, though. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, well. Beetle. So hot. So this used to be a stable, maybe? Is that what we're understanding here? There's a well. Uh, let's take a look over here. I'm worried. You're a traveler, right? Do you happen to know anything about Lurlin Village? Uh. If you haven't even heard of it, I can't expect you to know its fate. Lurlin Village is on Hyrule's southeastern coast. It's a small fishing town. I used to run an inn there until a gang of pirates descended upon us. I fled all this way with nothing but the clothes on my back. Mm. And what did I find out here? A terrible sand shroud and mysterious monsters lurking about. I don't know what to do with myself. Lots of jellies here. Ah. Man, need some travel security. Vasak. Vasak, a journey through the desert is dangerous, and a fully stocked pouch is the best defense. By the way, in the counter in the back is the front desk of the inn, just in case you want to rest up before your travels. Before your travels. Wait, where's the inn? Ah. Sorry, it's pretty far back there, so it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> it's far back. The counter back there is the front desk. Oh, dear, she's back onto her book again. Uh, I'm very sorry. I told her a million times not to read when we have customers. Before we switched jobs, I used to have her working the, the general store, but, well, she's a little... How do I put this? Quiet? Unsociable? Customers are rare enough as it is. We don't need her attitude driving them away. <laughs> I personally think that customers should be welcomed with a smile when they walk in, so I'm filling the role of greeter now. Mm. Oh, dear. I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, is there anything else you need? So long. Uh. All right. What's up, dude? <laughs> Are you also stuck here uh, thanks to the sand shroud? Uh, is it ever going to let up? I came out here to investigate the ruins that fell around the Dig Dog Bridge. But this intense daytime heat and the cold nights have messed with my skin, so I figured I'd take some time off at the spa. Uh -huh. But thanks to the sand shroud, I can't get to Gerudo Town. This is just the worst. Uh hmm, okay, I'm fine now. Just need to turn this frown upside down. No wrinkles. Just have to unfurl my brow, which I do. No sweat. If I could just take advantage of the spa plan... There's a skilled uh, aesthetician, how do you say that, in Gerudo Town named Roma. The fluffy beds here are great and all, but I hear Roma's spa plan is something else entirely. Apparently, nothing else can make you feel as, as, as relaxed and refreshed as it does. I just want to soothe my poor skin and bone-tired body. Excavating at Dig Dog Bridge has been exhausting. Ugh. Okay, I'm fine now. I just need to turn the frown upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfurl my brow. <laughs> If I read the three big ideas one more time, I'm going to start seeing the pages in my dreams. Had I known I'd be stuck waiting this long, I would have at least brought a real book or newspaper or anything else. Good to know. I do not want to stay at the inn, I don't think. Unless there's clothes. Do you have clothes I can wear? Um. Excuse me. <sighs> yes, I see you. Will you be using the inn? Uh, no. No. What well, makes it soft? Oh. Better than regular bed. I don't know. Try for yourself if you're curious about it. <sighs> Actually, never mind. <laughs> we thank you for your visit from the bottom of our hearts. Come back soon. So, yeah. Um, uh. Man. I'm not 100% sure what to do to get past the sandstorm or whatever. It's all so annoying. First is Sand Shroud and now monsters and all of the youngins are going around using the obnoxious slang too. This must be what the end of the world looks like. You think so too, don't you, Vo? But I guess anyone who brazenly strolls into a place like this doesn't care whether they live or die mm. anyway. I just don't want anyone to drop dead right in front of me. That'll give me some nasty dreams. Anyway, if you need any of this stuff, I'll sell it to you. Why not buy it all? It'd make my life easier. Gotta go. Mm. It's the end of the world, so I don't really care what happens to any of you. But if you're ever lost, just look to the sky. Do that, and you'll see the eyesore of a lighthouse shining like a star of salvation. Life's about living, and you only get one shot at it, so don't go dropping dead on me, Vo. What are these? Oil jar. I haven't really figured out what oil is for. This is the last one. There we go. Vazak. I sell one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. After uh, If you're after the Desert Vo headband, you've come to the right place. It used to be hard for Vo to get their hands on it. Uh, not only is what I saw a fashionable choice, but it's also great, great at staving off the desert heat. 
And even if you've already got one, why settle for just that one when you could go with a different color? Different color? Mm -hmm. Using dye to change the color of clothes is a big thing with young Vi traveling around Hyrule. If you're interested, there's a store in Hateno Village in the eastern edge of Hyrule, the Kochi Dye Shop. Hateno Village used to be a quiet, peaceful little town, you know, but now it's a tourist hotspot some folks consider the center of all things fashionable. Ah. Uh, maybe later. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, super secret. What? Desert Vaux. Hey, does it make me look like a girl? It's too expensive. I don't have that much. Unless I sell stuff, of course. All this stuff is fresh. Yeah. Alright, well. I think we gotta, we gotta move on. There's a lizard up here. Dang it. Yeah, I think we gotta move on. I do thank you all for watching. Let's go. Yeah, we'll, we'll proceed onwards. You know, we'll figure out what to do next episode. Uh, until then. Hi. I know, I know you're talking to me. Until then. Come back next time for more. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.